welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're running into a little bit of an issue with the F-150. Seems like the electronics are not fully engaged, so let me show you what's going on with it, okay? So in the past 24 hours, seems like the truck's been a little weak. You can see it in the chimes and in the alerts that it does. And I've been leaving the step bar out, it's the side step, so I don't have to worry about it you know, turning on while the truck is off. You can hear it struggle to turn on here, but it does turn on, and even the mirrors they don't, they didn't even open. You don't have to actually push the button myself to get them to open. All right, so we're gonna reverse, we're gonna back up here towards. Mike's weekday drifter. Sorry, Mike. It's gonna get a little close until it beeps. There it goes. Here, the beep is a little weaker, it's a little dimmer. But the power is not all there. And here, even as a collision warning, it's a lot. It doesn't sound right. It sounds weak, also. At first I'm like, hey, something's going on here. This is so different. Why is it doing this? But then it kind of clicked. Okay, yeah, it seems like it's a conserving power. All right, then one more example right here is I reverse to the garage. That's not normal. I'm gonna show you here. So we're gonna see if we, and this glare is horrible. There it goes. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna push this okay button and turn the truck on at the same time. Not all the way on, just the power on. Okay. And there it goes, does the gauge test first. And then it goes into engineering test mode. See that? So it'll test all the gauges first. I hit it OK. But it also gets you access. Let's see if we can go back. I'm sorry, it's going up and down. It's going up and down, left and right on these menus, okay? So on test. Ah, oh, it's shut down on me. All right, we're gonna try it again. Let's see if I can get to it here. Before it dies. Now you might notice a bunch of these gauges. Some of them you might know exactly where they are. Some of them we have no freaking idea what the heck is this. But pretty neat. And on some of them you can make some changes too. You can adjust them. You can tweak them. But uh, just be careful what you're messing with. There it is. See the battery? It's at 10 volts. The battery's at 10 volts. It's weak. If it goes anything below 10, it's gonna turn off. There it is. It turns off. All right, guys, so you can open the hood and test the battery straight, but it's pretty neat that the through the engineering mode, you have the option on the truck to see what the power is at on the... I'm not sure why it's not available anywhere on a gauge in the truck, but it's there, it's hidden. You can find it. So it's at 10 volts, should be at 12 volts. Um, so it is a little weak. I uh, probably have maybe a week left on this weak battery. And then I'll have to uh, replace it. But I'll probably just make a run real quick to the store and see when's the last time I replaced this battery because I feel like it hasn't been that long. Might be able to get a good price on a new one. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of the other videos I have. I'm going to try to be posting a little more often. 
I am thinking about getting a newer model truck, see if I can have some new force cam videos on the newer truck. Let me know what you think. Good idea, bad idea. Stick with this, the classic silver bullet or go into something else. Let me know. Deuce.